how to get down those impossible slopes. The best hard enduro riders <laughs> will ride down almost anything, but we dirt muppets need to have some easy alternatives. Short drop-offs are quite easy. Just position your body to the rear. If possible, don't straighten your arms completely. You still need to steer the bike. The next option for short drop-offs, simply jump off it. Do a small wheelie just before the edge. Try not to pick up too much speed before or after the ledge. And if it's beyond your skill level, the next option is bulldogging. The main trick is to lean into your bike. This forms a triangle for maximum stability between your tyres, your boots and where you lean against the bike. And if things get out of control, you simply land on your ass and the bike drops. The foot peg and bars should dig in to stop the bike sliding too far. You can see I've got my weight against the bike, heels dug in, using the clutch as a rear brake. And this is really bloody slippery. Too steep for bulldogging? You can simply slide the bike down. Carefully position the bike near the edge, lift or push the rear wheel down first. Hopefully the foot peg will drag in the dirt and let you ease the bike down. The foot peg does not catch in this case, but the bike still lands safely. If you get this right, the only parts of your bike that get scratched are the ends of your handguards and foot pegs. Why does the rear wheel go first? If you go front wheel first, the bike usually goes out of control as the handlebars turn. And you might brake or at least scratch your front fender on the way down. <laughs> and maybe wind up upside down completely. Of course, this is only a two and a half meter drop. If it was any higher or more vertical, you would also want to tie a rope to your handlebars to keep control over the bike's descent. Let's see how Jeff goes. He really takes his time and as a result, this is the textbook approach. He lines his wheels up, eases the rear wheel down. You can see the foot peg digs in this time and holds the bike beautifully. This gives Jeff time to reposition himself and keep control over the bike for most of the descent. If you have really close friends, you can ask them to catch you. Try singing that Nick Cave song, Into My Arms. Very romantic. Me, I am still recovering from a spine fracture, so I get Jeff to take my bike down as well. I should mention one of our local guys is an expert hard enduro rider. He simply jumps his bike off this ledge. This bike is this? <laughs> one we care about. And somehow lands safely in the narrow gully. Crazy skills. Drop your bike like you just don't care. Remember guys, we also have training vids about how to ride steep descents and downhills, bulldogging, how to walk a bike downhill, and how to ride drop-offs. Tackling any sort of steep descent can be a real mind game. My suggestion, try to stay within your comfort zone. Techniques like bulldogging or sliding your bike down are much safer until you feel ready to try that crazy steep stuff. Sometimes it's safer to be a pussy and not go over the handlebars and get a spine fracture. <laughs> and I'm speaking from experience. <laughs>